hello family uh, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel I'm coming to you from my patio I'm just out here having a little snack I have to work snack of apples and checking on my container garden it's still a work in progress so let's go check it out it's um I've got some cucumbers here and some these are peppers I believe and those are my tomatoes and more cucumbers and some peppers oh, and my onions And these are scallions, I believe. I just took some scraps from my um, refrigerator and just planted them in some plastic containers. You know, that's all a container garden is really. Nothing doesn't have to be anything fancy. I just have to get stuff in the ground and let the dirt uh, do its magic. Um, the purpose of this video is to talk about uh, the Mercedes-Benz Half Marathon. I've run um, this race three times and it's usually Valentine's weekend, uh, which is good. And I just want to talk about all the races that I've run in Alabama. So um, I wanted to do the video, like I said before, in one of my previous videos about the states. You know, I'm doing 50 states and we're going to go in alphabetical order. We're going to start with Alabama, which is the number one state uh, in the alphabetical order range. So, Alabama it is. So. If running a, a, a marathon, a half marathon, or whatever distance in every state is your goal, you will have to plan, um, which is what I've, I'm doing. Um, I'm, throughout this video, I'm probably going to input um, some screenshots. Uh, the first thing I did was, okay, I got to find a race in every state. I don't even know where to start. So, a couple of friends of mine suggested that I look at um, running in the USA. So, I'll post that screenshot here. running in the USA and running in the USA gives you a list of state a list of races in every state whether it be 5k all the way up to ultras so you can check that out it's called running in the USA there's also another website called halfmarathons.net halfmarathons.net so that is another good one. But I prefer running in the USA. So, so the first thing you need to do is decide whether you want to find a race to run or distance to run, then train, or train and then say, okay, I, I'm, re I'm ready to run whatever distance. That, like I said, I decided to just pick a race, which was a half. That was my goal. And this was about six, seven years ago. Yeah, about six, seven, eight years ago, and I said I'm going to run this race. It was a half marathon. It may have been maybe six, seven years ago instead of eight. And I trained for it. Um, but since then, I've increased my distance all the way up to, you know, doing back-to-back -back half marathons on the weekend, like run a week, run a race on Saturday, and then also do one on Sunday. And then I said, well, heck, uh, let's just do a marathon. <laughs> so I trained for the marathon. Um, so as I was saying, I'm not going to be too long today. Today is June the 1st. And today started a step challenge in my BGR group. So, you, you know, you, by the end of the month, they'll see who has the the most steps and so far I think I've got about 11,000 and I've got some more miles to walk tonight so I'm gonna get probably an additional six seven eight thousand miles six seven eight thousand steps um, that would be amazing if I got 8,000 miles but 
uh, 8,000 steps. So I'm going to walk up to the store and then I'm going to walk back. That should be about three miles or so, which usually gives me about six, seven, eight thousand miles. It just depends. So today I should end up with approximately eighteen thousand to twenty thousand steps, which is my goal. My goal used to be ten thousand steps a day, but now it's twenty thousand steps, um, which you know I can get if I, you know, really push myself and make put forth some effort throughout the day. So I say all that to say. Um, starting this Saturday, June 6th, the training for the St. Jude Marathon starts. And it's going to be at Breakaway, which is a running store here in Memphis. And we're going to meet there. And then a group of us are going to just, you know, train. Uh, we're going to start with, you know, the half marathon. People are going to start with three miles. And then people that are running a full, we're going to do... Uh, four. So I've got my mind right and I'm already focused on running a full marathon for St. Jude uh, this December 5th. December the 5th. I'll be running 26.2 miles here in Memphis, Tennessee uh, for the patients at St. Jude. Um, it's a great cause and oh my gosh, lots of people come into town. But, you know, based on the COVID-19 pandemic issues, we may not get as many people in town. They're also going to offer a virtual, um, virtual, which they never have before. You know, so um, I'm kind of glad. So if people can't make it here, they can run the half or 5K or 10K or full wherever they live, which would be great because a lot of people like to come into town. It's usually 30,000 people in this city. So I just wanted to uh, come on here just for a second and talk about, you know, like, okay, Cashman, I'm ready to, I'm ready to run a race. Well, how do I start? Where do I start? Well, first thing you need to do is find a race, uh, whether it be in your hometown or you can travel, go to um, running in the USA or have marathon.net and that will, that will get you started. So you sign up for a race. And each race, um, all the proceeds or most of the proceeds go towards a great cause, uh, whether it be, you know, a charity or it's usually some type of charity, which is great. You know, some people just, they like to run for a cause, which is good. And then the next thing you do is um, you travel to that race. If you have to travel, you know, you make your reservations for your hotel. And if you need to rent a car, you know, you buy your airplane ticket, that whole thing. And you get into the city, you go to packet pickup, you pick up your bib, and you get pre you prepare for the race the next day. Um, it's, it's not an easy process, but the sum of it is, it's just you have to plan. I, I wouldn't just... Uh, say hey I'm gonna go and run a marathon um, that wouldn't be wise for anybody um, you, you definitely have to train you got to get some miles on your legs so you won't be so sore okay so uh, the shirt of the day again is the Mercedes Benz let's talk real brief about that it's in Birmingham Alabama this is one of my race shirts the metal looks like this. I'm gonna to input um, a picture of all the medals that I've gotten in the state of Alabama. I've run in Tuscaloosa, Huntsville, and Birmingham a few times. I think that's all the ones in, in Alabama. And I've got medals, so now I'll, I'll show you those. I'll put a screenshot in there somewhere in this video. So I'm going to sign out for now. Like I said, if you have any questions or if you're just uncertain on how to start or how to begin or how to end or start this process, uh, just let me know. You know, just you know, hit me on the comments below. Ask me any questions about traveling and how much it costs to run these races. Some of them are real cheap. 
Um, some of them are as low as uh, $35, $40, and they go all the way up to hundreds of dollars, hundreds of dollars. I believe the New York City Marathon is in the range of four or five hundred dollars. The Marine Corps Marathon is two, three, four hundred, two, three, four hundred dollars. And then don't, let's not even talk about the ones overseas, like London and Tokyo. Just in the ones overseas, um, I was I signed up for the one in Madrid uh, this year. It was supposed to be in April the 25th, I believe, and it was cheap. It was like thirty-two dollars. You know US dollars 32 US dollars but I had to get to Madrid <laughs> Spain <laughs> that was the issue um, I found a ticket but it was gonna take some trying to get there it was gonna be oh over a thousand dollars just to fly from Memphis trying to get to Madrid and I was willing to do it I was willing to do that um, but you have uh, you know financially you have to plan unless you just rich like that and you can just you can just go whenever you want to but um not so i had to uh plan way ahead of time but unfortunately it got postponed so i deferred my entry to um, 2022 2022 they gave us an option uh 20, 2021 or 2022 i said well hopefully by 2022 all this pandemic uh, issue would be either gone or under control and need to be safe to travel overseas uh, like we want to so I'm gonna end this uh, video now thanks for hanging out with me for about 15 minutes today like I said the shirt of the day is Mercedes-Benz half marathon it's in Birmingham and it's usually Valentine's weekend which is good um, I've done it three or four times, I think three. Anyway, to show on the, uh, you see all my medals on the video. So like I said, if you have any questions, I'll be here just hanging out on my patio, checking out my garden, making sure all my veggies are growing pretty good. Uh, it's a work in progress, uh, but we're gonna, <laughs> eventually I'm gonna have some vegetables. I got started late this year. But I'm eventually going to have some vegetables this year. Okay, so thanks for hanging out. I'm going to get back to relaxing. And I look forward to talking to you again real soon. Ciao.